Well, hi. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, all you girls and boys and moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles. This is episode number seven of my 31 days, the drawing days of Halloween. Ooh. My goal is to do 31 days during Inktober. We'll do Marktober. Marktober. How's that? My, my little take on Inktober. Hello, Shana. How are you? Where are you from, Shana, and on YouTube? Good to see you guys. We're gonna draw this uh this jack-o'-lantern today. Isn't that isn't that wonderful? And I'll show you a few more of the, these drawings. Anyhow, we're at episode seven. Today we're gonna spend, I'm thinking about 15 minutes on this jack-o'-lantern here. And uh uh Shana, so you've been watching episodes since episode one, and she's been watching since uh drawing with the imagination station. She grew up watching that show right there, The Imagination Station. We actually won the Emmy for that episode. Well, look, at I modestly, I just happened to have the Emmy right here in my hand. See, isn't that funny? Just, I happened to have it right back here within arm's reach, how modest of me. This was the TV series I did back in 19, uh, uh, 1996 through 2009. We actually won the Emmy in 2009. This series is on Amazon Prime. I don't know. Anybody ever uh, remember The Secret City? Remember that? from uh, The Secret City Committee? Woo! A lot of my students went on to uh, work on movies like Kung Fu Panda and Despicable Me and Star Wars. And, of course, I put Despicable Me minions in there. Frozen, Toy Story, and uh, Cars, A Bug's Life. Just all kinds of stuff. All right, so today... Oh, well, thank you, Jeffrey. Jeffrey uh, uh, and Sean Parker's here. Hello, Sean Parker from Texas. Beautiful day here in Texas, huh? I had the most beautiful bike ride this morning. Just beautiful. I went over to uh, the Mitchell Preserve, right, looped around by Burroughs Park and uh, Spring Creek Trail. It was beautiful. Tomorrow, tomorrow, if you're anywhere near uh, down downtown Houston, I'm going to do the Bayou... Uh, Riverwalk Trail. I'm going to do a, an hour ride all along that bayou from downtown Aquarium all the way out and around. It's going to be cool. All right, so this is what I'm going to draw today. I'm going to draw the Jack and Lantern, and um, these are um, these are some drawings I did this week. If you guys want to draw with me every day at 3 p.m., check this out. We did this lesson yesterday with my 3 p.m. drawing class, my Zoom class. Fatima was here earlier. Fatima, there's there's Fatima. Hey, Fatima. And then we did our little monster doorway. We did this. This, this was the 3 p.m. class where we're warming up for my lives. Now, well, let me see. What have we done so far with uh, our lives? Let's do a catch-up because I missed yesterday. And I'm going to catch up. I'm, my goal is to do two episodes today. But let's, let's, see how, how, let's see how this one episode goes, right? All right, so this was episode six. I don't know if you drew with me on this one, but there was episode six, and I'm hitting my cameras around there. That was a fun one. That was the Monster Hall. This was episode five, the little Frankenstein guy. And this was episode four, the bat marshmallows. This was episode three. We drew some scary bats. And uh, we drew episode two. We drew the Dracula. And Alfred Reed. Hey, Alfred. Alfred Reed, all the way from uh, uh, Ireland, right? Alfred, what city in Ireland are you from, Alfred? I want to. I got a special gift for you, Alfred. Since you bought a, uh, Alfred was so cool. He bought a membership to draw 3D. And I'm starting a uh, a special this month. If anybody does get a membership to my 500 Lessons on Draw 3D.com, I'm gonna uh, send you. A free book. So, uh, 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 Alfred, you're the first person who get to get. He is going to take uh, advantage of this. You uh, you signed up last uh, Friday. Uh, this the, the, just a couple days ago. I think Thursday actually. Uh, for the draw 3D. Thank you for your membership. This one has 400, more than 400, maybe 500 uh, drawing lessons. Plus, my favorite part of this one is, and Alfred, I hope you join us. For the Mighty Mondays, it's Zoom for the families of Draw 3D. Mighty Monday Zoom at noon, uh, Texas time, Central time, and Zoom at 6.30 in the evening for families. It's so cool. 
and to, as an incentive, any membership level, you, if you go to um, uh, uh, my draw 3com you get a three month membership or six month membership or a one year membership, any membership level, I'm going to send you a free book. Okay, does that sound cool? And I'll autograph the inside page for you and ship it to you. So, uh, Alfred, you need to email me your shipping address. I'm going to ship you this book this week, okay? All right, guys, let's get going. We're going to draw that uh, really cool, and I put it away. Here he goes. We're going to draw this guy. We're going to draw that, that that pumpkin right there. Episode, here we are, episode seven. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, of course, as soon as I start to teach, I have to cough. Thank you so much, by the way, why I open it. Thank you for subscribing, for li uh, liking and following my uh, uh, YouTube, my Instagram, and my Facebook page, and my Facebook profile page. I, I totally appreciate it. My son keeps on hammering me about, huh, Dad, how come you don't have 100,000 followers like my favorite vacuum YouTube channel? He uh, He loves vacuums and one of his vacuum guys, the vacuum technician, has like, I don't know, 150,000 followers. He wants to know why I don't have as many followers. So I'm saying, hey, I'm working on it. I'll catch up to him. All right, let's get going here. You guys ready? Got my paper all set here. All right, I'm going at this cold. I've been I've been riding my bike, and I, and I worked on a great recipe today for my uh, one cartoonist vegan voyage book. I'm writing a cookbook for people who are trying to learn how to cook and eat healthier. Isn't that funny? Can you imagine me? I've never cooked anything more than an omelet in my life. All right, so I'm going to draw. I'm going to start right in the middle. I'm going to start this lantern. I'm going to uh, this jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to draw the circle and just just shape it. Cut, you know, it's a little bit squash. It's not even. It's going to be, and I'm starting kind of light. Now, do you remember what I call this? I call this a whisper line, right, you guys? That's a whisper line, very light, because we're going to be erasing most of that later on. All right. So now at the top of this circle, this will be a really cool jack-o'-lantern. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see it. At the top here, I'm going to draw this foreshortened opening. That Remember, foreshortening is a circle that's squished. And a good example of foreshortening is the minion's eyes. Look at the minion's eyes. See, I love the minions. I actually taught the... The, the fellow, the ladies and gentlemen who animated Minions for Despicable Me, I taught them how to draw when they were kids. Now, if you look at the circles of the goggles, now watch, as as he turns away from you, look at it, becomes squished, becomes foreshortened. Foreshortening, good word. Here's another one, here's Stanley. Look at the Minion's eye. Now watch, as he turns away, it becomes squished. Does that See, does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Drawing in 3D is all about squishing and distorting the shape. Now, so that, look at that, my uh, foreshortened circle's not, it's all lopsided, it's all right. No stress, put the thickness on the top. Remember, if it's not perfect, don't stress, it's okay, it's a-okay. No stress, stress is on the bus, you guys. Somebody, somebody type in beep, 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 beep. Somebody type in beep, beep, beep in the, in the chat box. You gotta fail to succeed. Look at my lopsided top of the lantern is so, so <laughs> lopsided, but no problem. You give yourself a license. You got to give yourself the creative license to make mistakes. Give yourself the creative license to explore. Beep, 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 beep. No problem. All right. Now we're going to work on the, we're going to work on these, these contour lines. These are lines wrapping around the shape to give it uh volume and contour. Stress is on the bus. That's right. Fatima. Beep, 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 beep. So the first line is going to be coming right at your eye since you're you're looking right at it. You see, that's our, your first line. And I'm going to turn my camera so it's more vertical. All right, now as these lines move for the left away from your eye, they get a little more curved. So that's a little more curved. See that? And then this one's a little more curved. And then this one's a little more curved. And then that one's even more curved in the back, okay? They get more curved as they move away. Now, now here's the center line. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to, I'm going to uh, rotate this one here. Let me let me put it down here. I'm going to need to get this so it's twisting here the right way. There we go. All right. Now let me zoom in just a bit. Now watch this as as these lines move away to the right, they curve more to the right. So I'm very lightly. I'll just draw a little curve here. 
a little curving even more. This line's curving even more. Curving even more up here. And then we go to the very edge of the pumpkin. All right. Curving even more up to the top. All right. I'm going to kind of clean up that top up here a little bit. And clean that up. I'm going to clean this up, this top edge right here. All right. So we got our the pumpkin. Now, now I'm going to uh, block in uh, the where the eyes and the face and the mouth go. So I'm going to put the eyes. I'm going to start this eye right here. So I'm going to draw the top of the eye coming down. This is a real light line to begin with. You see, it's very light. And then the bottom of the eyes are going to line up. See this curve, um, this contour? See, the, the that's my guideline, a curvy line. If this would be a globe, you can put the equator there. So I'm going to make the eye come all the way down here. It's curving, a little triangle. And then now this eye is going to be a little more squished and foreshortened over here. You can you can't see it as clear. And what I'll do is I'll erase the inside of that eye, and I'll go ahead and darken it up here. All right. So we follow the guidelines. We're just kind of building our drawing one line at a time. Isn't that cool? Beep 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 beep. All right. Now, now on this. Now watch this. I'm going to draw this mouth here. So I'm going to take take the the. Uh, I'm going to draw this big curving mouth. Look at this. It occurs on the up opposite side here. Look at look at how big this guy's mouth is going to be. I'm going to make his mouth huge. And it's actually going to disappear. So watch this. I'm going to erase this because the side of the mouth is on the other side there. So I'm going to open up. I'm going to do something different on this one. I'm going to actually have the... the uh, his mouth see that i'm going to put an opening right here for the jack-o-lantern isn't that cool all right so now i'm going to put some fangs on this guy right here on this one i'm going to put a fang here and then i'll put a fang over here on this edge here all right this is going to look really cool and then down here i'll put a fang right in the middle and i'll put i'll put the tooth back here this is going to be cool you know what? Since this is, I'm going to put a tooth curve in the other way back here. Look at that. Ooh, this is going to be cool. All right. So that that one's going to be hard to draw the thickness on that one. So we'll draw the. So darker it in there. Oh, uh, this one's going to look cool. Let's erase, clean up, erase. And I'll de uh, anybody. How are you guys doing out there? Anybody drawing with me? Take your time. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna add darken in the details in just a second. It's gonna look really cool. All right. Now for the mouth and the eyes. On the inside, the eyes are on the right. Remember the 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 thickness law, the thickness rule. If the window or the door is on the right side, the thickness is on the right side. So let's draw the thickness on the right side of the window and draw the bottom. You're going to see the bottom and the side. The same right here. You see that little thickness line? You'll see a little, little bit of the eyes. Now, to make the eyes really, really uh, look 3D, to really make them recess in there, darken in that. Oh, I just remembered. Thank you for uh, Mike Ingram, my director, for reminding me. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. For liking, subscribing, and following me on YouTube and on Facebook and Instagram. I totally appreciate it. Help me reach my goal to catch up with Mario's uh, favorite Vacuum Guys YouTube channel. Ha! That's what I want to do. I want to catch up with my Mario's, my son's favorite YouTube. All right, so let's draw the thickness on this tooth right here. You can see the bottom of that. This one, this one, you can barely see the thickness on that. You can see the thickness on on. The bottom of the mouth here. Watch this. You can see this thickness. This is so cool. And then right here, this this one is coming right at you. You can't even see any thickness on this one. But you can see that thickness. And then you can see along here. All right. Now, to really make that pop out, take your pencil. And let's darken this in. Get it all nice and deep in here. Isn't that fun? And I had I had several 
uh, several uh, uh, requests if people wanted to uh, purchase the, the the my original drawings uh, that I do during these live lessons and I thank you for that. Thank you. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank attitude of gratitude. I wouldn't be able to do all these things I'm doing without your support and buying my books and buying my art. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to get any of these original pieces, um, I'll give tell you what. If you want to get it, I'm going to throw in a free book for that too. If you guys want to get a free signed autograph, you can draw on thirty seconds book. Uh, that's a autograph book, fifty dollar value. Ooh, you get that free. The uh, if you want to get one of my original art pieces that I draw during my lives, if you like a specific one, go to that logo uh, on my markkisser.com. It's at the bottom. It says live at five, and it's a, a special ninety nine dollar online offer. So if you want to get a, an original one of these original drawings, it's um, It'll be uh, ninety nine dollars, and plus you get a free book. Hey, Jason, where are you guys from? Where are you from, Jason? Now I was gonna have the the mouth open over there, and I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that mouth open over here. So I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try something here. I want the mouth. I like that. I like that tooth. And I like this guy going up. I want to see if I can adjust this one here. Okay, I like that a little bit better. I like that a little bit better. I just I didn't quite like how that was looking. So I, I didn't give it enough room on the other side. And uh, I think on this one, I think I'll adjust it just a little bit more. And there's that smile, foreshortened. Isn't that cool? I'm on day three of drawing in 30 days. Oh, wonderful. So you have you have this book, Drawing in 30 Days. You have this book. Well, if you guys would prefer this free book, I'll send I'll autograph a version of this to you if you guys want. It. Free book for any of my any membership to my Draw 3D membership. Draw 3D draw 3D.com if you buy a three-month, six-month, or one-year membership. Um, it has hundreds and hundreds of lessons, plus Mondays are live, okay? So that's a great book. This is my bestseller. Over a million of my books in print. I love, I love that. I love saying that. All right, let's work on the bottom of this jack-o'-lantern down here. So I'm going to kind of uh, draw this lumpy bottom, and then it's a, you know, the flat bottom. Then I'm going to darken in. I'm going to take my pencil. I love drawing with this 9 millimeter HB. Isn't this wonderful? See how it looks like ink almost, doesn't it? So I'm going to draw this one. Draw these lines here, the pumpkin lines. Now this comes, notice how these lines change as they move, move around. Notice how these lines change. Now this one, I'm going to have to erase that guideline. And I want to draw the, hello, kitty cat. My kitty cat just came in to join us here. Now, technically, I don't like that this line going right into that line. It's a congruent. Trisha, no way. I haven't seen your videos in so long. Hello, Trisha Tate. I am so glad to have you here with us tonight. Thanks for joining us. Shout out to you, Trisha Tate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I'm gonna, I don't, I'm gonna work on this bottom here a little bit. I'm gonna draw that bottom, and then uh, definitely want to put a shadow. I'm gonna take my pencil, and I want to have this jack o' lantern sitting on the ground. So I'm gonna put this shadow over here, and you're gonna see we're gonna identify a lot with the shadow. Now along the top, what I'm gonna do along the top is I'm gonna draw this, this, the, this lumpy back of the the uh that opening here and you can see these these uh ribs right the gourd ribs and then inside here i'm going to darken take your pencil i'm going to darken inside where all that all the pumpkin seeds and pulp you pulled that out right let's darken that in 
This is looking cool, you guys. All right, now I'm going to darken a little bit more along the base here, the shadow. My light's coming from the top right. And I'll pull that shadow out a little bit more. And I'll pull that shadow out a little bit more, just a little bit, just work that shadow. And then, now the light's coming from up here, so I'm not going to make this shading too dark. I'm just going to make it a little lighter. See, I want to make sure it stands apart from the thickness of the eye. I want to make sure it doesn't get too confusing on the, on the, uh, with that inside blackness. I don't want it to be uh, too visually confusing. So I shaded inside, inside here. Now, if your candle was lit, if your candle was lit, it would, light would be coming out here, right? But I'm just going to very lightly put a shadow here. I'll put a little bit of shading up inside here. A little bit of shadow. That looks pretty cool, you guys, huh? Do you like it? Uh, yeah, we're going to draw the lid as well. I'm going to put the lid right down here. Fatima, you're ahead of me here. Now I'm going to make that four short and circle so it fits. I want to draw it about the same size. So sometimes I'll take my pencil if I want to make sure it's about the same size. Yeah. And I'll maybe make it a little bit bigger since it's on the ground. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to make this lid, kind of taper it in. See, I'm drawing this four shortened lid right here. Pull that out just a bit. And it's going to be sitting on the ground right here. And then right in the middle, I'll put that divot. That's a contour line. And I'm going to draw this, this, uh, the stem coming out here. And I'll have it, it's going to taper, it's going to get larger as it comes out of the, out towards you. Put a foreshortened circle. Notice how I kind of bent it, put a wrinkle. That's called the contour line. Oh, and I just got reminded. Thank you guys. Like, subscribe, and follow. I totally appreciate it. Like and subscribe and follow uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you. My Facebook, uh, both my page and my profile page and my Instagram. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, now. Over here, I'm going to uh, draw that center line, and then I'm going to draw these, the pumpkin right at the top. Now, same thing here. Look at this. These curve, these curve more as you move away from your eye. And then I'll take the pumpkin, and I'll draw the kind of jagged edge of the lid. And then I'm going to cut inside. You know how you always taper in that cut? And then we'll just kind of jagged edge the lid. So that's the lid that fits up inside there. And I'll shade it. Not too dark because of the shadow. I don't want the shadow to be confused. Your eye to confuse the shadow. And put a shading on the left side of the stem. Do you guys love it? Love it, love it, love it. Uh, Trisha, thank you for watching my vids. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, oh, I just got a, a question about that free book. If you guys would like this, this is my most recent book. If you like my free book, you can draw in 30 seconds. I'd love to send it to you. Um, if you want to get one of my original drawings from any of these days of the days of Halloween, um, you can uh, pick any of the episodes. And it's $99. Thank you so much. It helps the, us uh, keep doing what we do and promoting, inspiring, and uh, uh, educating uh, the next generation, the life transforming power of the visual arts i believe that visual arts are crucial to your kids development and your creative thinking and your brain power this is a great way to boost your brain every day i'm going to put a horizon line back there kind of a kind of a choppy one and i think i think back here i think i'm going to put like tombstones back here little silhouettes maybe i'll put some tombstones way in the back Look at that. They're kind of crooked. This is a lumpy, old, forgotten uh, forgotten uh, plot. And then I'll put uh, just a little tiny silhouettes of the tombstones here. Ooh, scary. Scary. These are almost falling over here. One of them actually did fall over. And then... And then what I'm going to do is uh, uh, watch this. Give me a one through five. How are you guys doing on this? Uh, just me, Christina. Uh, 
Oh, you can you can put a flying crow in there if you want. That's a good idea, Christina. Now watch this. Take your pencil, and I'm going to put a horizon value along the side. See this? I'm going to take my pencil. I'm going to make it look like it's night. So I'll take my my value, and I'm going to draw this night sky back behind here. See? I'm going to take our pencil, darken this in, and get it lighter. See, I'm going to make it darker along the base, along the right along the horizon. You can twist and turn your paper. Your paper's not... Uh, Nailed down or glued, it's twist and turn, and then over here, I'm going to do the same thing. Look at darken this in over here, and you get lighter as it comes up. Dark down here 31 days of Halloween drawing the drawing days of Halloween. So that's my goal is to have 31 episodes today. It's October 9th, I know it's but it's episode 7. I'm gonna to have to catch up. Let's see, maybe I can do another episode tonight later on. Maybe I'll do a, a, a late night episode. What do you guys think? Anybody, would anybody want to draw for, uh, one more episode later on in a couple hours? We'll do a couple episodes today, a couple episodes tomorrow. That'll catch me up to my schedule here. Anybody? Let's see here. Place a crow flying. That's a good idea. You can draw a crow flying. You can draw, you can draw some like bats. You can draw silhouettes of bats back here. Bats flying. You can draw some bats back here. I'll make one of the bats really close. So you can draw this bat here. It's kind of close. I'll put the silhouette. Look at this. You can put bats. Isn't that fun? You have a whole bunch of bats flying back there. Oh, scary, scary. All right, now I'm going to shade this. I'm going to shade this uh, this pumpkin here a little bit more. I'm going to put a shadow on the ground down here. Let's put this cast shadow, the light, the moonlight, right? The moon's coming from the, the right side. So I'm going to put some cast shadow on the ground here. And then I want to shade, take your pencil, and I'm going to shade the whole left side. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to shade each of these little ridges. I'm going to come down here. And this will help define the shape of the pumpkin here a little bit more. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my pencil. And I'm going to shade each of these ridges here. Take your pencil. A light value. Just do layer upon layer. You see that? Uh... Uh, look at Fatima says that she'll she'll like to do another live tonight. Okay, well, we'll get all you and your high school buddies to to draw with with me. I'll do another one later on tonight. How's that? I'm not sure when, but I'll I'll do another episode. Look, I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put these little ribs. I'm gonna shade the ribs here. The sun's over there, so I'll, I'll shade these little bumps on the pumpkin. Do you guys like this one? One through five. Five being fantastic and one being... Ah! Give me one through five in the chat box, you guys. Five of in eighth grade. Well, I'll get all your junior high. Get all your junior high friends to draw tonight. Five of uh, there in North Carolina. Uh, just love having you in my drawing classes, Five of You're awesome. All right. There's our... There's our cool crazy pumpkin guy. Maybe put a little more shading on the the lumps. And Alfred gave me a five, and we got a five out there. Another five. Excellent. Excellent. Remember, don't give up. You can watch us over and over again. It's a recording. It's a post. You guys can watch it. All right. So let's let's do this. This is episode. This is episode uh, seven, right? Episode number seven, right? The drawing days of Halloween. The drawing days of Halloween. Now I got to spell it right, so I got to pull up my my uh, my thing. O W E E. The drawing days of Halloween. Ooh, ooh, scary, scary. And it's live at five uh, with me, Mark Kistler. 
and we'll sign it. Mark Kistler. And what's the date today? What's the date? Well, today it's 10 October 9th, 2021. You can see I'm two two days behind, two episodes behind. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Halloween Howlers Day 7. Halloween, Halloween Howlers. All right, guys, there's our little jack-o'-lantern. Glad you guys could join me today. And remember, if you want to get a free uh, You Can Draw in 30 Seconds book, you can get a membership at my draw3d.com website. It's wonderful. Hundreds and hundreds of drawing lessons. Be sure if you do, do uh, purchase this, you put a little comment in the in the purchase that you want your free autographed You Can Draw in 30 Seconds book. I'll even cover the shipping for that, okay? And I'll throw in that book uh, as well, a free book, if you want to purchase this this drawing or any of the other drawings. Let me show you the other ones. If you guys like these drawings, uh, you can draw any of these. There's the hallway, a Frankenstein, the bats, more bats, and Dracula, and the scary ghost. If you guys want to get any of those, it's uh, uh, $99, plus you get a free book. Uh, just look for that logo on my markhesser.com. It says a uh, little link. There's a little purchase link. Thanks for your support. Attitude of gratitude for sure. I couldn't do it without you guys. All right. Thank you so much for your drawing. Ooh, look, I'm going to zoom really way in. Ooh, scary. Thanks for drawing with me. Thanks for your evening. And we will see you on the next episode. Bye, everybody. Fist bump for being cool. Bam.